interior decoration, or your friend's hairstyle. You pick how to use fresh fruit. I love healthy fruit. And my friend eats way too much processed sugar. Come on, give me these extra calories. And these too. Trade them for a healthy fruit. No way! I won't betray my candy. Jessica will judge our competition. Let's have a battle of candy versus fruit. Let's test some mangoes. One is real and the other one is a little different. Add one and a half ounces of water to a level tablespoon of gelatin. Melt mango and passion fruit puree in a pot and bring it to a boil. Whip six ounces of cream with a mixer. Add the gelatin to the puree and put it into the whipped cream. Pour the mass into silicone mango molds and freeze. Microwave two and a half ounces of cocoa butter. Pour it into two ounces of white chocolate. Add yellow food coloring. Stir it so the chocolate melts. Coat the frozen mangoes with the glaze. Apply red food coloring to a sponge and color the mango peel. Let's taste the exotic mango. Guess which one is made out of sugar and jelly? The mango dessert looks exactly like an artificial fruit with a glazed peel. Mmm, it's delicious! But the real mango is juicier and sweeter. And here's a coconut! Hey! Knock knock! Anybody home? Try a hammer! It doesn't work! A coconut is a tough nut to crack! And my friend gets a chocolate coconut! Let's see what it's made of! Melt five and a half ounces of dark chocolate. Pour it into a plastic half sphere mold. Spread it evenly over the mold and let it harden. Add a spoonful of shredded coconut to three and a half ounces of melted white chocolate. Spread it over the chocolate semi-spheres. Let it set. Crush Oreo cookies in a blender. Add a spoonful of cream cheese. Mix it and fill the coconut halves with it. Join the pieces together with warm chocolate. Scrape the surface with a fork. Make it look like a coconut shell. Press in circles with a pastry bag tip so it looks like a real coconut. I don't need any tools for my sweet coconut. Mmm, it's so tasty! Meanwhile, the coconut milk turns out to be not that sweet. I will cook a pear dessert. It's a complicated recipe. You have to copy the shape of a pear, but I can handle it. Microwave two and a half ounces of pear flavored marshmallow. Add three and a half ounces of puffed rice. Thoroughly mix it and shape a pear. Put the pear onto a skewer and dip it into melted light green icing. Make leaves out of melted green glaze on parchment paper. Scrape vines on the leaf with a toothpick when it hardens. Attach the leaves to the pear using glaze.
The sweet pear looks even better than the real one. The leaves are so cute. And I got really hungry while growing my sweet pear. Maybe I'll eat it myself. The girls shouldn't eat so many sweets. Mmm, yummy! The candy pear wins! There's no point in waiting for the dish. It's already gone. A whole plate of kiwi. Wow, so many vitamins. And where is my candy? Why did everyone forget about me? Redhead is already finishing her kiwi. My dish is finally here. What? Is this a regular lollipop? Melt kiwi flavored caramel candies on a stove. Add green food coloring. Pour white caramel onto a silicone mat. Shape a circle. Add a layer of green caramel around it. Put in a plastic stick. Paint seeds using a toothpick with black food coloring. What can I say? Compared to a real kiwi, this lollipop is so disappointing. Try to bite it. We like the real fruit much more. Rock, paper, orange. Our new dish is an orange cheesecake. Finally crumble seven ounces of cookies. Add two ounces of butter. Pour in two ounces of melted chocolate. Add a few drops of food coloring. Thoroughly mix it. Cover a plastic semi-sphere with plastic wrap. Put the orange mass into it and compact it well. Squeeze juice out of one orange and pour in a tablespoon of dissolved gelatin. Add a spoonful of powdered sugar and a drop of orange food coloring. Pour the mixture into a dish with a flat bottom. Refrigerate it. Mix five and a half ounces of mascarpone with two ounces of powdered sugar. Add a tablespoon of dissolved gelatin and melted chocolate glaze. Mix it very well. Fill the orange semi-sphere with the mass. Cut the said orange jelly into segments. And place them on top. Replicate a cut orange. Your cheesecake is nothing compared to real oranges. Mmm! Oh, what happened to your face? You look like an orange. Oh no, I'm allergic to citrus. Help! Well, thank goodness my cheesecake is safe to eat. Now we're fighting about cherries. Let's have a competition. What's better for catching in your mouth, a real cherry or a gummy candy? Add food coloring to cherry flavored gummies. Microwave them for one minute. Pour the melted jelly into a pastry bag and fill a silicone cake pop mold with it. Stick in a long green gummy candy to be a stem. Cool the jelly. Make a few cherries. The cherry bounces off, but the cherry candies hit the target. The winner is clear! Jelly forever! Strawberry is on today's menu. What's better, berries or cake pops? Mix seven ounces of sponge cake, two ounces of soft butter, and some strawberry topping in a blender. Cool the mass and shape strawberry cake pops. Dip a wooden skewer into melted red glaze. 
Stick it into the strawberry cake pop. Cover it with the glaze. Add a stem with green glaze. Paint dots with yellow glaze to be seeds. Make a few strawberry cake pops. Redhead tastes the real strawberry. Ew, it's sour. I will take a cake pop while nobody's watching. Just one strawberry. Turns out she also likes cake pops. Pretending that fresh strawberry tastes better is useless. We found a cake pop stick. Tell the truth. You will have to admit that the strawberry cake pops are better. Which pineapple will be the winner? A real one or a cake? Cut six circles out of sponge cakes. Whip 14 ounces of butter with a mixer. Gradually add seven ounces of condensed milk. Assemble a cake. Coat the sponge circles with icing and put on pieces of pineapple. Cover the entire cake with the icing. Divide the remaining icing into parts and add yellow, green, and brown food coloring. Put them into a pastry bag. Use a closed star piping tip to apply the icing onto the cake. Make it look like pineapple rind. Melt white chocolate glaze. Add green food coloring to it. Apply a thin layer onto parchment paper. Scrape a thin zigzag with a wooden skewer. Let it harden on a round stand. Stick the glazed leaves into the pineapple cake. Wow! This cake is disguised as a pineapple. Mmm! It smells like chocolate! Let's taste it! I'm enjoying the tastiest cake while Redhead is cutting her real pineapple. And the chocolate leaves are so good! Jessica likes the pineapple cake too! Did you like our fruit shaped sweets? Then let us know in the comments what you would choose! A sweet dessert or a real fruit! And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up! Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so that you don't miss new sweet recipes on Troom Troom!